Hi Leo, this is going to be your mid-November reading. It is going from the time period of November 15th through the 30th. It is going to be general, so keep that in mind. Um, it's not going to resonate with everyone. I mean, the last reading I did for you was victory is yours. Your hard work is paying off. And I see um, many of those same energies coming through today. I've already laid the cards out. Of course, there's usually a, a few bumps in the road, um, but the energy looks really good. Um, so I can't wait to get started. I will say that the, the full moon eclipse is coming up on the 19th. It's in the sign of Taurus. So the next two years, the eclipses will be in Taurus and the opposite sign, Scorpio. Um, so Taurus is about stability, home, comfort. Um, Scorpio is about transformation. So there could be some sort of transformation that you're wanting to make in your home environment, in your financial environment, something like that. Um, anyway. I just want to get going. I did want to also mention that I have finally listed all the decks on my channel or the majority of the decks on my channel in the description box for the video and I've linked them all to my Amazon store. So all you have to do if you're interested in a deck, just um, go to the description box click on the link, you'll be directed to my storefront in Amazon and you can purchase the decks on there. Um, I am going to try to remember to call out the decks as I am um, showing them. So <clears throat> here we go. All right. We've got from the Moonology, step out of your comfort zone. And this is a North Node energy. There is a North Node um, card that just came through for another one of the signs. This message has come through for several signs. I'm feeling a sense of deja vu. This may have come through for you in your previous reading, though I'm not certain. Um, but like I said, this is a theme within the collective. So this is really about going for it and not letting fear hold you back. This is coming through in the tarot also that you, you could be feeling some fear or you felt some fear in the past. This is about moving through it and, you know, just a stepping out of your comfort zone, um, having the courage to just go and take a risk. Um, start something that makes you feel a little uncomfortable. I feel like the result is going to be amazing because we've got happy family here, you guys, and this is the 10 of cups energy. This also came through for another sign. And so I feel like this is a theme within the collective. Um, our, you know, the universe wants us to be happy. The universe wants our wishes to be fulfilled, our dreams to come true. And that's exactly what this energy is. It could indicate um, for some of you that if you're wanting to get married and have children, this is definitely coming up for you. Um, it depends on where you're at in your life. For others, this is just about finally your wishes are coming true. And right beside this, we've got, oh, excuse me, you guys, we've got a man holding a coin. And so this is very much like the king of pentacles energy. And, you know, it's, um, it's just an energy. It does depict a man here, but it's just an energy. Um, this could be a future partner for you that is coming in. Um, if this is resonating, if you're already attached, then that's not your message. There's another message coming through. Um, so yeah, this could definitely be someone coming in for you. Um, this would be like a divine partner, a soulmate. It's like, this is the one that you're going to build a life with that you're going to spend your life with and it brings in all this contentment you may have um, children with this person they may already have children you may already have children um, it's going to be different for each and every one of you um, but this looks really good so if you're looking for love i feel like it is on its way to you now 
if you are not really looking for love and you're focused on money and career, I just sense that you are going to be really stabilizing. Um, I feel like you've really been learning some lessons. You've been growing um, and, you know, you are moving into this place of self-mastery, which is what the King of Pentacles really represents. Um you uh, have the tools, you have the knowledge to go for what you want and, and really achieve your goals is what I'm feeling from this. Um, so if you're looking to stabilize, you know, financially or in some other way, I feel that um, that is definitely coming up. Now, that is from the Energy Oracle card. Uh, the next card is from the Black Moon Astrology cards. It is part of Fortune Increase. And you guys, this is a newer deck, and I have no idea what this means. So I am going to refer to the guidebook, but it feels to me like your fortune is going to be increasing. And I want to remind you what we focus on expands. And this is right next to a man holding a coin, and it does have the word fortune. So I'm feeling that this really is um, a good omen. So what this says is fortune favors the brave. I'm sure that you guys have heard that saying before, and this is really kind of a reiteration of step out of your comfort zone because this energy is about being brave. It's about, um, you know, um, not overcoming your fears, but moving forward despite your fears. It's almost like that strength card, okay? It's like, just keep going. So we've got bookends here talking about um, you know, bravery and how it's going to bring in this abundance for you. So let me just keep going with this. Um, oh, wow. Okay. This is interesting. In early mythology, Fortuna was the daughter of Jupiter, the god of good luck. So you guys, if you are on the cusp of cancer, you may want to watch that reading because the Jupiter return blessings card came through for cancer. Um, so that is really interesting. Um, you know, I will say that Jupiter was retrograde. It began going direct last month around the 18th of October. And so I feel like it's um, really like opening up doors for the collective. Uh, it doesn't matter what zodiac sign you are, but the Jupiter message has been coming through a lot. So pretty exciting. Um, so let me just read through this. Okay, so when the part of Fortune card turns up in a reading, it means a time when things begin to flow more easily and you will have more success. Okay, yeah. So this is about your fortunes increasing. The corresponding tarot, cor tarot card would be the Ten of Pentacles. Um, wow. Where you are lucky, fortune, karmic triggers, destiny, and fate. Those are the key words. So this is also about your gifts and your talents, but I do feel like your fortune is on the increase, Leo. Now, we do have this card. This is from, oh, what is it? The Queen of the Moon Oracle. And this is the snow moon, and it says purity. And this is really about having pure intentions. So what I would say is if you want to make more money just to make more money so that you can live in the lap of luxury, um, I would say, you know, maybe that's not the purest of intention. But if you want to um, make a lot of money so that you can help others 
or you can help build a business that is helping others, I would say that's a pretty pure intention. Um, you know, so if you think of it, if it's all about you, um, that's not pure. If it's about the collective, that is more pure. Um, that's how I'm intuiting it. It's not a judgment. It's not that you shouldn't be happy and you shouldn't live in luxury. That's not it at all. Um, so let's go into the past, the present, and the future. We have the King of Wands coming through in the past energy, Leo, and this is very much your energy. Uh, you know, this is, it's interesting that we've got um, two kings showing up today. Um, I, I'm viewing a man holding a coin as a king. So in the past, it's like you really felt like you had arrived, you had mastered, um, you know, all of these things. Um mastered manifestation, the law of attraction, um, you know, whatever it is that you're going for in life. It's like you had arrived, you've gone through these trials and tribulations, you've learned, you've grown, um, you've overcome, and you have taken a seat, um, you know, at the table. But right below that is the moon. And I feel like this is the fears that were coming through. Um, you know, the, the moon can be about fear. It's about hidden things. Um, it's, uh, you know, it is a, a dark, uh, not a darker energy, but a more mysterious energy. So it can be about intuition as well. But in this sense, because of the card that's coming next to it, um, I feel that, you know, just as you were starting to feel super confident, then the fears started taking over. And that is why this card is coming through. Um, face your fears and step outside of your comfort zone. Because the next card is the Two of Swords. And this is about indecision. This is about not being able to make a decision. It's um, it's about a stalemate energy. It's, it's really kind of a stuck energy. And so what I'm getting is, yeah, you were feeling really good in the past. And then those fears reared their ugly heads. And it put you in a place of not being able to make a decision. I feel like you are currently moving through this, though. You're almost at the end of it because in the present energy, we got the fool. And the fool is all about stepping outside of the comfort zone. This is taking a risk. This is, in a sense, a reincarnation. Um, it's a brand new beginning. It's a new chapter it's a new journey um you know with the through the um eyes through the um yeah through the eyes of innocence almost it's it's like you it's almost as if you leave your um perceptions your judgments behind and you start out fresh um, feeling very optimistic, very positive, like nothing can stop you. Um, so this is beautiful energy. This tells me that you really are ready to go for it. And you guys, there's this um, quote that I'm going to share on my Instagram. It is one life, just one. Why aren't we running like we're on fire toward our wildest dreams? And this is kind of where I feel that you are at um, right now with this full energy coming through. It's like you want to go for it. You want to go after your wildest dreams, but there is some fear to move through. Um, we all feel it. Uh, there, could, there could be a lot writing on it. Um, it's almost like you're afraid that you're going to crash and burn. But, you know, with fortune showing up, this is connected to Jupiter. I just, I feel like you can't lose, Leo. You cannot lose. And we've got the nine of pentacles that's coming in under the fool. And so what this says is this leap of faith, this risk that you're going to be taking is going to be wildly successful. It's going to, um, 
you know, bring about a lot of wish fulfillment, you're going to be able to achieve a lot once you move through these fears. Um, you know, it's, it's really, it's also going to increase your confidence. It's like, you guys, when we step out of our comfort zone, the first time it might be really difficult, but as we do this more and more, um, it gets easier. And this is the energy that I am feeling for you. Um, this is a big leap of faith that you're about to take or you've already taken and it's going to pay off big time. Um, we've got the five of swords coming through under the nine of pentacles. And this is in the third position as is the two of swords in the past energy and what i'm feeling is this energy it's almost like this is in the third position so this is kind of anchoring um or has been anchoring the other energies but what i feel is you see how these this guy has collected all these swords um this is normally like kind of a negative energy it can be about be, being in a battle um mental conflict um you know being in your ego winning the battle at all costs but what i feel is you know you've learned what you needed to from being on the battlefield and now you're ready to leave you're ready to leave the battlefield you're ready to step out of your comfort zone take a risk take a, take a leap of faith because this is where you want to be you want to be this nine of pentacles this nine of pentacles is confident knows what this person knows what they deserve knows what they want and that is exactly when the um, happy family or the ten of cups uh, will come in when this um, man holding a coin is going to come in this divine partner so you are in the right mindset leo <clears throat> and if you're feeling any fear um you're gonna overcome that now in the future energy this is very interesting you guys i do read intuitively um most of the time i read pretty traditionally but when my intuition really takes over if it's a different meaning then i just go for it and i have a very different interpretation um, for the ten of swords in the future now with the ten of swords this is about betrayal a painful ending um something like that lies um, what I am really feeling because the Queen of Cups is coming in underneath the Ten of Swords, um, the Queen of Cups, and this is you, this is representing you. So you may um, have water in your chart. You may be on the cusp of cancer. Um, if you are, then this is really an important message for you. The Queen of Cups is a very deep feeling um, person, um, you know, very intuitive, um introspective very deep um caring nurturing loving loving energy um and just so so sensitive so what i am feeling is that in the future all of these wounds okay the ton of swords is representing wounds wounding from the past okay i feel like you are going to be healing because the Queen of Cups is also, I see the Queen of Cups as like a healer. Um, and she, she, I say she because it's a woman, but man or woman, it doesn't matter. Because she, um, she has the capacity to heal herself and to heal others. And so I feel like in the future, you are going to be healing all of these wounds that have been holding you back that kept you in fear from stepping from stepping out of your comfort zone so this is really beautiful energy and we are ending you guys with the sun and it doesn't get any better than this um the sun card this is so your card leo um you know this is a masculine energy it's a vibrant energy it's full of life the sun gives life and it's about expansion blessings um you know growth and potential and opportunities and all of that good positive stuff and this is how we are ending the reading so i absolutely love it i feel like life is about to get 
um, really, really good for you. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the little bell to be notified when I upload new content. You guys, I did want to mention that I just joined Wizio.com. You've probably never heard of it. It's um, a platform that's new to me. I am offering readings on there. Um, I'm still offering readings on my website, but I'm offering them on Wizio because they make it super easy for me to do shorter readings. It's like you guys can put a request in. I just um, hit, you know, record, respond um, with a reading and I'm done. Um, it's not a long drawn out process. Um, so I will be, I will be offering shorter readings. One thing you may be interested in is I am offering like a one card, uh, one, excuse me, a one question reading. So if you need clarification on something, um, I am able to do that now without it being, you know, a really big deal, which means that it's more affordable. And I am offering some other readings on there as well. You may want to check it out. Um, I put the link in the um, description box below. So, all right, Leo, I am just sending you guys so much love as you continue on your journeys. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.